The first tractors in history. The first tractors appeared in the late 1880s as a substitute for steam engines, which had powered the power farming revolution for almost a century. The first instance of steam working on a farm was in Wales in 1798 when a stationary engine was used to drive a threshing machine. Britain was the world leader in developing agricultural steam power. Few permanent steam engines were installed due to their high costs and limited uses, but this all changed in the 1840s when self-propelled traction engines and portable steam engines powered by horses first appeared. Because of their mobility and increased versatility, they attracted contractors and huge farms and gave British industry a chance to expand internationally. Gasoline-powered vehicles. Tractors with gasoline engines began appearing on American farms while Britain concentrated on steam power. The first tractor for which documents now exist was made in 1889 by John Charter's Charter Gas Engine Co. In his initial concept, a single-cylinder auto petrol engine drove the wheels and transmission of a steam traction engine. The first practical four-stroke gasoline engine was created by Nikolaus Otto in Germany in 1876. Since 1878, machines bearing his name and based on his inventions have been manufactured in America. Few details about Charter's original machine have been preserved. Still, we know that it drove a thresher and that its performance was probably satisfactory because five or six more Charter tractors were purchased. Although it did not last, it probably encouraged others to try steam substitutes. They included the G. Case Company, which quickly became the top producer of agricultural steam engines in the United States. In 1892, Case constructed an experimental tractor with traction engine parts and a twin-cylinder gasoline engine of 20 horsepower. Because of the project's unreliable engine, development work was maintained for several years before being stopped. Remember that steam power had about 200 years of development and was generally dependable in the 1890s. In contrast, the four-stroke petrol engine had only been around for less than 20 years and had rudimentary ignition and fuel supply systems that were frequently problematic. The first production tractor from Case was unveiled in 1911, just in time for the spike in tractor sales during the 1914-18 war, albeit the company continued to use steam power. While there was a sharp decline in the demand for steam power on farms, Case was starting a new era as a top tractor manufacturer. John Deere the tractor created by John Froelich, an agricultural contractor whose company also sold steam-powered threshing machinery, was another import to America in 1892. Froelich built a tractor to operate an additional threshing machine for his business expansion plans. He carried a Van Dusen gasoline engine with a whopping 35.5-liter capacity and a gigantic single cylinder that produced 20 horsepower on traction engine wheels and a chassis. Success with his tractor led Froelich and a group of businessmen to form a company in Waterloo, Iowa, to produce tractors using his design the following year. When the Waterloo Gasoline Traction Engine Company started small-scale production in 1893, two initial customers returned their tractors because they were dissatisfied. John Froelich departed the business after this failure, and it stopped producing tractors in favor of focusing on gasoline engines. In 1912, the business resumed making tractors under the Waterloo Boy brand. By acquiring the Waterloo firm in 1917, Deere and Company joined the tractor market, and the Waterloo Boy models marked the beginning of John Deere's extensive and storied tractor history. More American newcomers entered the budding tractor market in the middle of the 1890s, including the Auto Company, which had provided the engine for John Charter's first tractor in 1889. Auto's first production tractor, powered by one of its 15-horsepower engines, saw few sales in 1894. A more prosperous maker of steam engines, the Huber Company, expanded into the tractor market in 1898 after acquiring the Van Dusen Engine Company. For more than 40 years, it has continued to have great success. Another early success was a business founded in 1897 by Charles Hart and Charles Parr. They had constructed an experimental engine while undergraduates, and their business first specialized in machines until introducing its first tractor in 1901. They used one of their two-cylinder petrol engines, which had oil cooling rather than water and produced 70 horsepower. They claimed to have invented the phrase, tractor, which first appeared in one of their advertisements in the early 1900s. Much of their early success was in what was then the high-horsepower sector, including a 100-horsepower model in 1911. When the Oliver Agricultural Machinery Firm was created through a merger in 1929, 
the Hart Parr Company was still producing tractors but had lost its identity.